look quite a bit different this year because CCSD had to cut $68 million from its budget. 260 schools had to cut staff. But I found a principal who was ready, and because of her emergency planning, families at Kenny Gwynn Middle School won't notice. Now these are the science rooms. The halls are quiet at Kenny Gwynn Middle School as staff prepares for students. But once school starts, this place is bustling hours before the bell rings in the morning. I've never yet walked into the building where there aren't students here. That's because students know their school is a safe place for them to hang out. This Title I school has many challenges like providing free meals, clothes, and support to these students. But the biggest challenge comes from outside the building in the form of budget cuts. Are you kidding me? You want me to cut one more time? All right, what are we going to do? Principal Georgia Tayton has been in education since 1973, the principal at Kenny Gwynn Middle School for the past 14 years. This isn't her first rodeo. She's been through budget cuts before, and she was savvy enough to know it would happen again. You had to cut something like $173,000. Mm -hmm. That's brutal. I don't know anyone who could cut that from a budget. Well... We were worried, wait, I told you, we were kind of ready for it and we were looking for it, see what we had to do. So we left money in services and supplies, a little more than what we would have normally left, and knowing that if we had to cut, we could pull from there. Tayton worked with her staff and parents to tuck away rainy day money to ensure no staff members would be cut. But that means they didn't fill positions they were hoping for. Do you think the average Kenny Gwynn family will feel the effects? No. But it still hurts. It hurts. Where they're going to feel the effect is in the size of the classrooms, because the classrooms will be full. Wow. OK, so stop and think about middle schoolers mm -hmm. and the difficulty of their work. The principal told me she'd love to get class sizes down to 24 students, mm -hmm. but her average class size will be more like 34 to 38. Uh, we are one of the worst states in the nation when it comes to teacher-student ratio. So her message for lawmakers is thanks for the bills and the laws, but that only goes so far. you got to dig into your pockets and fund education. Yeah, because 34 to 38 students per class, that's a big class. Imagine an English class oh, where you're trying to read that many essays and 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 that's each period you yeah. have that many students so it's overwhelming for our teachers right. good story beth 640